What is up guys? Welcome to another video. This is 12 weeks out on the cut and this is the physique update. As I said, I'm gonna show you guys every single video, like the progress we made. So we're getting leaner. This is like fasting in the morning. Overall, getting diced. Before we go to the gym, I take my morning health supplement. So what this is, is it's a liver health. It's omega-3s, turmeric, which is for the joints. Those are like the bright orange pills. And then we have a multivitamin to fill in the gaps in the diet. Vitamin D3, 5,000 I use a day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Vitamin C as well. And I think I covered all the areas. So this is what I take in the morning. Now we're gonna try to hit a PR swallowing these pills. <laughs> Oh God, I lost one of them. Still good. Here we go. <laughs> oh God. Right down the hatch, baby. <laughs> Woo! Bad to be vitamins too. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna go to the gym. See, we are weight training first. It's the weekend, so I just wanna lift first and then run later. I have a cheat meal today, which I'm gonna show you guys later in the video. I'm excited for that. Oh, dang, got a haircut. I look like a little boy. But we're throwing around weight today. I'm not no little boy. I'm a, I'm a diesel corn fed dude. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go heavy, pretty, pretty heavy on the bench today, but I'm just gonna walk you guys through my training split for the week, how I hit each muscle group and, and everything to grow symmetry and everything like that. And also my running routine and explaining the heart rate situation on how I run to like not really take away my muscle and drain my energy so I can still benefit and thrive in both weightlifting and running. So with that being said, let's see in the video. It's cleaner. Oh man, ain't she pretty. So today's gonna be more of like a training vlog. If you guys could do me a huge favor and like this video, I'm really trying to put out as much content as I can during this prep to help you guys lose weight, get to your goal, become a weapon, just be a better version of yourself. If you guys have any other video suggestions on what you want, let me know, drop them in the comments. Literally, I'm trying to interact with you guys as much as possible. So comment, let me know. Now what I want you guys to try, is to put your truck or car in reverse at 60 miles an hour because I heard it goes into race mode. I got You're gonna drop the transmission through the bottom and ruin. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome to another voice overview. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I hope you guys like it. Um, gonna start out with why I do what I do as far as my workout split for the week and how I um, train basically to really give you guys a lot of insight. I'm trying to help you guys as much as I can to help you guys build your mind, your body, your physique, this prep. I'm taking you guys along the journey through thick and thin. It's gonna be brutal. Um, this workout was pretty hard for me, not gonna lie. You know, there's times where I'm drained, there's times where I'm tired, but guess what? You only lose when you quit and that's one thing I never do is I never fucking quit. So with that being said, let's talk about the week first. So basically how I structure my week is I start out with chest and I have a light and a heavy day for everything. So chest is Monday, Tuesday's back, and then Wednesday is legs. Now that's all, that's like everything there. Um, and then I go into, um, those are my heavy days. So basically my rep ranges are from like six to eight on everything. And then as I get into the after part of the week, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I lighten it up and focus more on hypertrophy and I also add something to it. So I'm trying to grow my shoulders. So whatever you want to grow, you add to uh, your base days. My base days are chest, back and legs. So Wednesday through Saturday, um, or Thursday through Saturday, I do chest again. Um, and then I do chest and shoulder focused. 
And then um, back, I do back and arms added in there as well, just like the chest and shoulders were. And then legs, I just do legs. Um, and then sometimes I'll add in shoulders again, or I'll add in some um, triceps. If I didn't hit triceps on my arm day or back day, when I mix the biceps and back in together. Um, but basically the heavy first three days and a light last three days. And that's how I like strategize my workout. But as you guys can see so far in this workout, I'm going pretty heavy. Um, 315, 365. Then I work my way up in the bench press. Um, and I, I believe you got to apply the pressure. You know what I mean? You got to put a stimulus on your body to be like, Hey, I need this muscle to stay. We got to give it a reason to stay. So I lift heavy on my compound movements and I do this for every muscle group, every single muscle group. I go heavy the first two exercises. Um, so then I went into incline, um, and went heavy on that hit hundreds on the incline and really focused on the squeeze. And then as you can see in both of the bench and the incline, I did a drop set at the end. That's to really facilitate growth. Um, I believe you got train till failure to grow i think those last two reps are the most important um so that's kind of like the way i like to train and then more into the workout um like i said this is the same way across the board heavy first two movements around six to eight rep range and then after that lighten it up um and increase the volume so you know go from 8 to 12 um, and that's what I do on the other movements here for chest I'll go in the machines um, normally just hit like one machine and then I'll do flies chest flies just to really get a stretch but yeah that's pretty much my workout and honestly if there's anything that I missed let me know below but pretty much to make it really simple train heavy the first three days of the week focus on power now Power equals strength, strength equals hypertrophy. The more you, weight you can push will allow you to push more volume. Obviously, Sunday I have off. Now, with that workout being done, I'm gonna show you guys, to you guys through my run and give you guys some tips and tricks on how I balance that. But first, we're gonna go back and have post-workout meal. Really? All right, what's up guys? So we're on our way to get a cheat meal. I'm gonna show you guys what that is. So my cheat meals are always the same thing right now. And because we're lean and we keep our like diet consistent throughout the week, we can have these cheat meals. We can calculate for it. So I keep it under technically a free meal, but I keep it under like a thousand to 1200 calories. And I, I save that much for that cheat meal. So we're on our way to Hop Dottie right now and Fun fact is, Brittany thinks I need directions to get places. I do not. I'm gonna get there without direction. You're supposed to turn here. Here you are. <laughs> it's a bad day to be a burger. Mm. <laughs> Post meal, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the new shoes that I got to squat and deadlift in. They're a little different than normal than like what I typically wear. They're flat shoes. I used to love shoes. I used to literally like, Nikes were my favorite. So I got a pair of uh, some dunks and um, I picked these up. These are the, the pandas. Um, I was looking for a different color. They had like lotteries that the swoosh like scratches off, but these are like super nice. Um, their leather and um, I got these to wear when I deadlift and hopefully we hit some big PRs in here. Um, these are going to be my, my power shoes, my lifting power shoes. But yeah, these are the pandas. Yeah, I'm just like getting back into shoes. I love shoes. So. Oh yeah. Like a weapon. So basically they're flat. So I like flat shoes. They're not my dad's shoes. They're not my Hoka's. Those are strictly for running. These are for weightlifting. And also, if I want to go out and wear some nice shoes for dinner with some jeans, instead of wearing my cowboy boots, I got these. Wow. Versatile, hybrid, badass shoes. Well, bam! Now, we are going to go for a run real quick, two miles, and then I'm going to explain exactly why I run, how I run, and how I implement it in my week. So. So, just like that, we just finished up a two mile run, eight minute per mile. I'm gonna explain everything that I do to keep progressing and running and getting shredded. So, let's do it. So basically what I do is five times 
I run two miles a week and I keep that heart rate pretty low and I keep those runs really easy so it doesn't take away from my lifting. And the reason why I do that is because if you go hard in one thing, expect the other to fall. So when I go out for my runs, I keep it around 130, 140 beats per minute. Um, like I said, I have a Garmin Phoenix 7X. Get any watch that tracks your heart rate and just run off a heart rate. Don't worry about time. For me, the time for, depending on the weather, depending on how cold it is and warm, my heart rate fluctuates. But normally I can run like a 738 minute mile for 130, 140 beats per minute. Um, so keep a low heart rate. That way, when you go to weight train, you don't even feel like you ran and you're burning calories. The whole idea, like I said, is burn hot, eat a lot. So I say, if you're gonna plan out a structure, two miles, five times a week. Don't worry about pace. That will come as you get leaner, as you get faster. It's better than sitting on a Stairmaster and just like looking at a wall. At least you get out, explore, try something new. If you're not good at running, go give it a try. It's literally like, I used to hate running. Um, I played football. I didn't never thought I'd do any endurance events and I did the Ironman and the marathon. So, you know, you'll you'll be surprised it's really addicting to see the progress you feel like a functional athlete you feel you feel really good after the runs like i feel the best ever after my morning runs i always hate doing them but i feel the best after and that's one thing i want to say too is like pick a schedule and stick to it wake up every morning start your day with a run you can do it no matter where you are you can go for a run that's why i love it i don't run on a treadmill i run outside i ran in the rain two days ago it's just because you don't give yourself an option not to do it. You, you tell yourself, thank God I can do it. There's a lot of people that wish they could be doing what you're doing with what you have, right? You only have so much time here on earth. You only have so much potential. You're only you for so long. So why not like make the best of it? So that's like why I wake up and run is because I love it for the benefits of the mental clarity. It allows you to burn more calories and it makes you really appreciate what the body and the mind is capable of when you push itself. So yeah, that's just one thing I wanna say. So the whole program is two miles, five times a week, low heart rate, 130, 140 beats per minute. And if you can't lose weight on that, I would say maybe go up to three miles. If not, just lower the calories. With that being said, that's how I do it. I break it up into two sessions, two miles in the morning, weight training in the afternoon. What is up y'all? It is the next morning. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That was my cheat meal. I had the cheeseburger and fries. And um, yeah, pretty much that's like my weekly split of weight training and um, running. And I hope it helped you guys like with my pointers and tips. Um, but if you have anything else, literally anything that you guys wanna see in the video, drop it down below. Like, please like, please comment. It's gonna help me grow help the channel grow and provide information for you guys so support me and i'm gonna give it my all to you guys but stay corn fed just just comment something down below anyways all right love you guys bye